In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash an LED according to the e input pin value. So, just let to let me show you on this specific uh, Proteus design that I've got here, just to show you the the circuit diagram. Is I have connected this 10K externally to the microcontroller, and uh, that is then connected to PC0. So that's going to be my input pin. I need to change or make sure this is an input pin. Uh, there's a resistor. Oh, sorry, there's the resistor 10K sitting there connected to plus 5 volt uh, so if the switch is open I'll get plus 5 volt or a 1 sitting on PC 0 and if I close the switch I'll get a 0 sitting from ground here a 0 sitting on PC 0 so according to the w a high or low value here I want to flash this LED uh, connected to PB5 on the Arduino board this LED is actually part of the circuit diagram or, or the art board no, in other words it's sitting it's already connected on the Arduino board so that's what I'm going to use but this is just to show you uh, that I'm using ex an external resistor here uh, as part of the input circuit here so in on hardware what I've done here as you can see is I've connected a 10k between plus 5 volt and a0 which is PC0 so there's my 10k resistance that I've connected on hardware and, and then what I've uh, what I have at this stage is just a, a loose wire this is the wire sitting here and this wire will then be connected uh, to A0 uh, when we test it so it's an open switch at this stage and if I touch it it's a closed switch so we will look at that later so if I can go to the program which I've written in Atmos Studio go here uh, again we have to include this specific header file the IO header file we have to define the frequency and if I make use of a software dealer I must also use the header file of the delay so what I've done here on DDR5 is I've made pin number 5 an output by making it high in DDRB it is defined as an output I do not have to do this I do not have to go through this step because if you switch on the microcontroller starts it is definitely all zeros uh, sitting in DDRC making everything an input in any case this is just to show you that it is possible also to make it uh, or to make sure just one pin is an input so this is what I've done there and with this um, testing of a bit this is the statement how to test a specific bit I can test bit number zero in PC uh, pin C and if it is a high it will execute this section which is just making sure that there's a 200 milliseconds uh, well time delay here after it's been switched on so it's on for 200 milliseconds and then it's off again for 200 milliseconds uh, that is if PC0 is a high now this is what we're testing here for and if it is a low I want uh, PB5 the LED connected uh, on my Arduino board to be uh, one second on and then also to be w off also for one second so if we program this uh, on the Arduino hardware but as I've said I use the Arduino hardware only as a hardware platform I do not use Arduino IDE um, if we now go and look at the physical hardware the Arduino board this is this one here you will see if it's not connected meaning it is now a high on PC0 you will see that it's flashing quite fast if we look at this uh, this LED sitting here it is flashing quite fast which is the 200 milliseconds delay and as soon as I connect this wire on this side it's connected to ground and as soon as I connect it here you will see that my flashing changes to be one second on one second off um, by removing it I open the switch basically again place a high on uh, on uh, PC 0 and it will be flashing quite fast and this is how you can uh, test the pin and then also react on that pin the problem with this arrangement and this is what I'm going to address in my next video is we have to make use of an external uh, um, resistor here and I want to get rid of this resistor and it's quite easy 
So the next video I'm going to show you how we can activate an internal pull-up resistance and actually then get rid of this resistor sitting here. Thank you.